What is up guys? Snowshoe here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Vintage B fan server. I got it right that time. Today we've got something a little bit different planned. Oh, he did. Uh, it's a, a beautiful morning. It was night just a second ago and I had to come up here because it was a little bit scary. Um, we definitely have some spawnage problems, but we'll get those resolved eventually. I don't know how. Maybe I really want to build some more structures like the fountain and the tree oasis thing. Maybe get some more natural lighting to where it's not going to be as many spawns. But I don't want to prevent them all because it's Minecraft and it's outside. Anyway, so I you remember whenever I had my uh, very first couple of episodes building this whole place and I wanted to take screenshots on this wooden plank? Yeah, those were the days. Anyway, I just want to come up here and reminisce how far we've come. Look at this. This is amazing. You can't even see the guest house over there or the yacht. But uh, so today, whoop, made it. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys a little footage I shot because we do have some potential residents for the guest home as you guys saw last video. A couple of prankers, daughter and Drew son of the 43, decided that they both want to live in there. Daughter says she's going to pay more rent. This is all I know. This is like the people's court. Like we need the, the Judge Wapner music. That's really a really, really old reference. Uh, who does the people's court now? I think it's like, isn't it Judge Marilyn Millian? Is she still doing it? I think that's who it is. I'm sure you guys know too. Um, but anyway, so we're going to check it out. So it says, Drew says he's moving in to, because he's tired of Matt, his his ex-neighbor, I guess. I don't know. Drew's apparently already moved in. But uh, he said, let me know when rent is due. Uh, it's due, buddy. If you're moving in, it's due. You pay rent the day you move in. But daughter says, no, I called dibs before you. P.S. will pay higher rent. So... In the case of Drew versus Daughter, we will see. I want to do some negotiation, find out the, the terms of the settlement here, and uh, see what exactly is going down with the case of Snowshoes Guesthouse. Take it away. Look at that. The sun goes down on the Palazzo. You guys know why I brought you here today, don't you? Yes. Drew? Um, what are no. you doing? I'm getting ready to sleep, so my spawn is set here. Stand on the front lawn. <laughs> no, I feel like my bed. I placed it here. If I have to be a landlord, I have to be like a, a grumpy old lady. <laughs> Get on the lawn. You don't own that place. Get out of there. Okay, so both of you want to live in my guest house, I hear. Yeah, apparently. What do you mean, yeah, apparently? You have a whole video talking about how you want to live in my guest house. No, I'm saying apparently both of us do. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know at the time that daughter did. Now, because I am the sole owner of this guest house, this is my property that you're standing on right now. This is my property that you seem to have squatted on for a little while. Um, but... I didn't squat anywhere. I think putting a bed and sleeping in it is considered squatting. <laughs> anyway, so I'm thinking that I want to hear both of your guys' cases for why you deserve this room. Daughters first. Um... Tell me. Well, I, I have my own base, and it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's super lonely, and and I'm all alone, and it's been that way since I got on this server. I have I just... no sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be a crotchety <laughs> landlord. Dang it, don't hit me. You just killed me. That was not on camera yeah. and has no proof. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows hey, that that happened. Yep. I have a question for you. Wait. You just stated a couple of minutes ago. There's no cross-examination that... in this yet? I'm the judge, <laughs> dang it. Get out of here. I will give you, you just your... stated a couple of minutes ago that you hate Snowshoe. I'm just wondering why you want to move here <laughs> by him. Convenience, well, okay? Don't don't dissuade her. <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to move before all that happened, but 
<laughs> but before you hated but, him. But okay, um, I'll just like get to the point. I think I can pay higher rent than he can. Oh, really? We haven't even gotten there yet, but I think that's where we all know we were going. Are you aware <laughs> that you're not wearing pants? Yeah, you stole them. I... Or they broke when you punched me off the roof. Yeah, nobody heard that. Um, <laughs> uh, Dr Ow! Drew, do you have any uh, rebuttal to anything that she said? Not really, because she didn't say anything that... about you. But do you have your own yeah. case? He already has a neighbor. Yeah, it's true. You do have a neighbor. Exactly, and he's a terrible neighbor. I really don't like living by Matt. I hear there are I'm... lots of kids involved. <laughs> That's not even the issue. It's just that guy. Really? Like, yeah, he... I don't... I can't even think of all the things that he's done, but he's just like... He's really terrible to live next to, and I've, I've been considering building... Uh, fortifications on like, my land to, no one okay, is to okay. keep him or on sorry on like by my base <laughs> to keep him out and right. uh and then i saw that you did this video where you're like there's a guest house and my guests can come and stay and i'm like hey why don't i go check so that out and i just want to know both of you if you have a guest room in your house do your friends just come and move in is this something that happens this is this is not in your house. Well, it's on my land. Okay. My house is right there. Yeah, but I didn't move into your house. Okay, you all right, this fine. this is for my guests to come and stay. Okay, valid point. Now, now it's time for the mudslinging portion of this competition. Daughter, why should I not allow Drew to move in here? Oh, gosh. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got some more uh, excited uh, possible residents. Okay. Um, I killed them. Why should Drew not be allowed to move into my house? Um, because I'm tidier than he is. Oh, so you're saying he's messy? Yes. Uh, how messy? Messy. Oh, okay. Now, Drew, why should I not allow Totter in my house? No reason. Really? Yeah, that... My suggestion was, when, when I heard about this, my suggestion is that uh, we could build some sort of additional room or something and that we could both live here. So you're saying that just like Sloth in the Goonies, I should put Daughter in the basement and feed her with like buckets of fish heads? <laughs> oh, I never said that. You I'll never saw the, the Goonies, did you? I'm in a basement right now. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think so. You haven't either, have you, daughter? Hang on. Let me no. let me take some more applications for residence. Okay. Um, hmm. So, you guys both make compelling arguments, but I'm not really... Oh, wait. I just saw... I just saw something that really intrigued me. What was that? What? I... Nothing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did see that. Now, you know, Drew, I really like your suggestion... But uh, either way, you guys are going to have to both pay to live here. This is not a free land. I like, I'm just saying, when you built this house, you just said my guests can st come and stay here. You never said anything about rent. And I actually... Do you know what the word guest means? <laughs> it doesn't mean yeah. the people that live on my land live, exactly. so, like take a residence. Residence so, equals money. So I, I'm just saying, I'm the one who actually even brought up the suggestion of rent. That's true. So, so why are you angry about it? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying you're oh, making so you, a big deal like I like daughter can pay and I can or something. I'm and, just talking about amounts here. Oh gosh. Hang on. Oh ow. You've gotten away. Negative points. Negative points for you. Dude, I have an arrow I in my ear. My, oh, before you even. <laughs> I have an arrow sticking out of my ear, Drew. Okay. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously anymore. Um so what I was going to say was I do agree with your suggestion, and little do you guys know, actually, you know, because I told you before we started this, I do have plans and designs for a basement in this establishment. Daughter, would you like to come take a look in here? It's safe in here, don't worry. Except for the baby zombies, but, you know, they're cute. Uh, so, if it was, let's say, about this size, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how deep this is. Hmm, I think there happens to be a cave under here. Um, we'll just cover that up. No reason to see that. And, uh... <laughs> will somebody please put the floor back? I don't have it. 
Daughter, put the floor back. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> put the floor back. <laughs> okay, so I think, honestly, the basement is going to be a little more luxurious than the upstairs here. This is a little cramped in my opinion. And I wanted it to be that way because I didn't want it to be exactly comfortable for people to stay here for a long time. But if you guys speak the international language of money, then I think the basement could be something a little more luxurious. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think daughter is speaking the language a little better. Drew, are you okay with uh, with keeping this upstairs for the low, low price of 10 blo diamond blocks a week? 10 diamond blocks a week? Yeah. No. <laughs> That's a no. I have okay. To, I have to furnish it myself. Okay, how about this then? How about I have an idea. How about I build the basement? All three of us have an Abba caving. I get one third of the <clears throat> proceeds of an Abba caving, unless I win, of course. Then I get the full proceeds. We have an Abba caving. And the winner gets their pick of the top or bottom. I like it. Fine with me. And the one third of the proceeds will be your rent. One time, paid in full. Okay. Okay. Aha. Sounds, Sounds good. good to me. All right. We have a deal. Snowshoe wins. Okay. Now I'm going to kill you guys. You don't know about the gas that is seeping into the room. And I will take your belongings. <laughs> you, you do realize there's windows, so the gas is just going oh, right back out. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Okay, well, in the future, soon in the near future, whenever our schedules allow, we will have said Abba caving. Is that some mood setting music? Is this like sure. challenge music? Okay, and there's there's got to be like a minimum limit though on how much I get out of this. Like I've got to get at least like nine diamonds or else it's not worth it. <laughs> I think the winner could totally get 27 diamonds, but if I win, then you guys have to bid, and I get the proceeds. This is so creepy. <laughs> I know. You guys are just staring at me. Okay. And, and there's this music playing. Well, anyway, do you guys even know about this chest over here? I have a chest of goodies. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't look in it, though, because oh. I was recording it. I didn't know if it was a secret. No, it's, it's some decent stuff, but anyway. Hey, that's my squid ink. I've been looking for that. Oh, found it. Okay. Anyway, so uh, we'll get that going, and you guys will finally get to see who's going to live in... Do you guys want to name this place, since you guys both, both might be uh, neighbors? Nope. Don't think too hard. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, okay? All right, guys. Well, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be it for, for this negotiation. I think you guys have both equally been fair to each other and uh i do agree with drew's valiant effort in not slinging mud uh, i think we know who the bigger person is now daughter oh. <laughs> you fell for the trick you fell it's for the true. trick I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure i am taller Ow. than her uh, yeah that's definitely true all right whatever <laughs> okay so what do you guys think huh i think that's a great idea a little bit of Abba caving, a little bit of fun we're going to have with this. We still have yet to get it scheduled, so uh, I think we're going to find a good time to do it. But I wanted to show you something I did while you guys were gone watching that clip. You see that? You see the cap on that one? You see uh, you see the cap on that one? You see the cap on this one? Uh-huh, that's right. That's amazing. I actually finished that. I was planning almost, like, I had a thought in my head that I was going to leave that as like something that never gets finished and that was just gonna be like a running joke that I never finished that block break uh, but I finished it because that's just the kind of guy I am I finish things I gotta figure out what to do with these melons they don't go on that tree they're kinda nice I don't know maybe we'll have a melon tree somewhere else but I actually really did something that I was avoiding looking at until now uh, while well, you guys were gone so I did the cap on that that's weird why do I get a chunk error right there we still got to figure out something for these interior walls. I haven't designed it yet, but I know we're going to use the new blocks. Whenever we update, man, no word on updating yet. The Minecraft server is already updated, but we are not. But anyway, enough about that. So we have done this. Ooh, check it out. The yacht. The exterior of the yacht and the functionality is finished. 
Let's check it out. You see how it's a nice double-decker layered yacht here? So the view from the front porch, let's check it out from up there real quick. I didn't bring any ender pearls, so we're going to get our exercise today. Go on a nice walk. Over here, that looks nice. It looks a little bland though. I like that you can see the red at the bottom. That's very a very good touch. Uh, the, the slabs kind of break up the white. The black glass, now that's another thing I want to look at is the black glass kind of looks like it's not supported very well and I'm not sure how to do it. I don't know if we'll just leave it like that. Maybe put some lights in there or something. But anyway, so I kind of created this double decker layer effect type thing and um, it works out really well. It, you know, you can't get in that top layer at all. It's only one block high, but it really makes it look a lot, I don't know, more majestic, I guess. I don't know, it looks a lot cooler to me. And then we kind of, we added the, the spruce wood, chopped down a lot of spruce wood to get all this stuff. The spruce wood planks here, and as you guys saw on the back, back here too, the, uh, what is this called? You have the bow, and then you have the stern. So on the stern, we have spruce wood planks and spruce wood slabs with the black glass panes up here. I, I keep forgetting what these things are called. Quartz everywhere, it looks good. Now the portal is obviously not done. I need to get some obsidian and I don't have any. So we may have to go farming a little bit. Um, because if you actually go in here, and we'll do it in a second, but if you go in there, it doesn't take us where we want to go. It doesn't create a new portal, it just links up with uh, that portal over there. But up here we have the captain's quarters, I guess. So I want to do a little bit of decorating. Let's show this off just to be sure. Because sometimes these are funky. Let's see. This should just put me back. Yeah, right here. And this is where we go to get into our into the palazzo. Um, I've got a pretty cool idea for what I want to do with this, and you guys can let me know what you think about it. So, in the Nether, right now, I've got to create a Nether tunnel because we've got kind of our our portal area set up. Look at that zombie! Come on, chunks, load up! Oh, that place is huge. Anyway, <laughs> we may have to do some caving down there or something. Maybe I've already found it. Who knows? Oh, my cat's going crazy. Somebody get her. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to tranquilize her. Um, so, I want to do a little bit of interior decorating here. Let's first check out the block light. This, uh, can we do this? This BL right here. So, we're, we need to be at 8 or above, if you guys remember. People were making fun of me for using my little cheaty technique. You stinking guys. I think it's great. But if you'll notice, right here we're on slabs. Our Y is 65 and a half. Mobs cannot spawn on half coordinates, so as long as we're on a half coordinate, everything... Sorry about that, the kitty cat needed some food there. So, like I said, we're trying to make sure that everything is either lit up above block level, block light level 7, or slabbed up to where mobs can't spawn on it. So up here, we need a light somewhere, because right here we've got kind of a, a weird section where mobs can actually spawn in the strip. They can't spawn anywhere up here, luckily. I don't think. Oh, maybe right there. So maybe we need like a... I don't know, like a... Is there anything under here? Just water. It's Is it visible from inside if we just put glowstone right there? And, I mean, you guys can tell I think that just lit up everything like crazy. Yeah, we're good there. So... Hmm. That's not bad. I'd really like to do lamps. We may have to come back and do that a little bit later. Oh, you can't see that at all. I think that's probably pretty perfect. So we may do a lamp up there. Uh, I don't know if we should do... I want to do something to kind of break this up. I may try to think of something to make it not look so bland on the sides there. But since it's only two blocks, it kind of gets tough uh, to make it look a little bit more detailed without making it look like a stripe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we've got to finish up the captain's quarters here. I brought an item frame because I know what I wanted to do here. Boom! What? Okay. <laughs> We've got a, a nice little, what do you call those things that the captain's, the, the steering wheel, the ship, I don't know, I think there's a, a word for it that I can't think of. And so that's good. We've got some torches here. Torches are not good. Let's check the block light. Oh man, and we are not on a half slab, so maybe, oh, that's gone forever. I don't know, that there for now, just to kind of finish it up. Uh, block light here. I think the portal, doesn't the portal actually give off light? Do you guys know about that? I don't know. I may have just made that up. So maybe, let's see, this is odd. So one right there maybe? 
kind of lights everything up nice and bright there. So I think that really does it for there. Uh, Drew actually mentioned lighting up the top of that. We'll throw some torches on there just to appease him in his his nice little requests. Um, so right here we need one. Ooh, that's going to be tough though. Hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe we should put one like where you can't really see it. Well, these are half slabs. Or these are slabs. Definitely up there. Where's some? I need some dirt. I need some climbing material here. So maybe like uh, are these these are slabs too aren't they whoa 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 calm down pick those are not slabs they could be I guess I guess not I don't know I'm losing my mind here so maybe one like that and then one right there and then same over here or so I don't know oh that doesn't even line up at all so maybe like maybe right here instead <laughs> oh this is crazy not looking so good. I don't know. We'll figure out the logistics of the lighting, I guess, later. Um, anything else we want to add to this? Definitely what I want to do. Like I said, when I get some obsidian, we're going to make this higher, this wider, so it the portal takes up the entire room. When you get out of the portal, you can come up here, check out the view. Looks all nice and everything. All this is lit up. And then you head right out to your new guest home. Looks very nice. So let's throw some torches up there while I talk about my idea for our nether tunnel. So, oh, don't you even do it, zombie. I hear you. So our nether tunnel, I thought, yeah, we can just, we can make a tunnel. Everybody has a tunnel, though. You know, everybody who's ever played Minecraft has a tunnel. Everybody on this server just has a random, you know, nonsensical tunnel. Has nothing to do with anything. So I thought, let's sweeten the pie here. You guys know I'm not the richest person on the server. Um, so maybe we can actually, I don't have anything that's making me money constantly. So maybe we can do something that's kind of like, you know, a turnpike where you have to pay to pass it, but kind of in a more fun way. Nice jump. I think that should be lit up nice enough for Drew. I also put those quartz right there. We'll figure out the door eventually. I don't know. I don't know if they'll want it or not, Drew and daughter. Um, and then I also, I dug out the, the basement under here. It's just a couple of blocks, nothing special. We'll still have to figure out what we're going to do for the... Oh, oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's figure out what we're going to do for the design and everything. I don't actually have a design. I lied. So, I just, I had to do that, guys. It's called selling and um, making a good pitch. So, I had I had to kind of falsify some information there, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. So, I want to have kind of a tunnel that has a challenge to it. And what's a challenge that people don't like very much? Parkour. So, I'm thinking about creating a nice little parkour course that is how you get to my boat area and I'll have my own secret nether tunnel path that I don't have to actually take it but I want to spice it up a little bit I want to have everything below be lava so there's it's risky you'll get a little bit of excitement in this uh, this parkour course and you will obviously have stuff with you why else would you come to my base without any kind of material so you'll be running and jumping over the lava and everything and if you make it, good on you. That was fun. I'm glad you had fun. But you can also pay one diamond to get out of it. So you throw a diamond in the chest and it opens up a nice little pathway for you to go along. Now, I'll be sure that there's no cheaters. I'll have probably a counter or something to make sure that we can tell exactly what's going on and nobody's cheating the system. I think that's going to be really cool. I'm probably going to work on that a little bit between this episode and the next one. Hopefully I get an episode up to you guys this weekend. Uh, I've got another busy weekend and a busy week next week, so I don't know. Videos are going to be slow. I'm going to try to get it all pre-recorded. Who knows? But that's a little bit about what we're going to be working on in the next episode, as well as getting the boat all done and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit different. A little change of pace here. But until next time, guys, I will see you all later. And have a great day. Dude, you yeah, took I my hat you. and my pants and my arrows. I did not take your hat. Did you break my chain hat? Oh, your chain had, hat? Yeah. Oh, um, I was I, enchanted. You had a you had a diamond hat a second ago. No. What? Really? Really? No, I have your chain hat. I thought it was mine though. <laughs> He's just <laughs> like, hmm, here's a chain hat. I'm guessing it's mine. I have lots of crap in my Here. inventory. I had a golden hat and a train chain hat. The unbreaking one. Yeah. Here you go. Thank uh, I was you. trying to throw it right on your head. That would have been awesome. Didn't work. I had leather pants too. 
<laughs> what? No, you didn't. <laughs> I did. I picked up I, uh, everything. And uh, I, I had oh, ten broke. diamond blocks. No, screw you. Get out of here. <laughs> I have, I have some diamond blocks. I have I more than ten. Blast. No, you definitely only had ten. No, I have more than ten. You I, have? I know what else she has, though. What? I probably shouldn't tell you the the stuff she took out of the chest. What are they? No, the, the chest that chest. was over on the boat. What? Oh yeah, what's oh, in yeah, the chest yeah. in the boat? It's not oh, in okay. there anymore. Gosh, really? Oh, I put I put it back because I felt bad. <sighs> Woo! Oh. Why should you feel bad? I don't know. Was it you? She wants me to at least see what it is. Take it. I hate when I have an infinity bow and I put my arrows in the chest. Ow! Yeah, you took all my arrows, man. I don't even have any arrows. Okay, yeah, it's back there. <laughs> I took your squid ink. Nah. -uh. I did. I needed that so bad. I actually bought that from you, I think. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy it. Didn't again. you have 64 of it in your shop? Yeah. Yeah, I paid for that. I killed a squid earlier, so now there's two squid ink in there. Oh, well, thank you. Here, I will barter. Squid ink for the arrows. <laughs> No. Zombie flash. All of it. All of it. Get stunned. <laughs> just just tap Q really fast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's gross. See, I wanna oh. I think you guys are gonna be happy with this yacht. This thing is looking good and creative. Yeah, I'd I'd rather be happier with the house. Well, you, I mean, you said you wanted the top floor. Granted, you may get the bottom floor, and it's going to be luxurious, I assure you. Yeah, no, I'll... And next time, we will come in, and we will see what it looks like, and you guys will understand how the if, winner is going to get I the spoils of if victory. If I don't get the top floor, then I am taking my furnishings. Hmm. That sounds like a pretty... Oh, you brought the blocks for you, book? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was just filling the chest with something to make it look like someone lived there. I'm not sure if I want to stay with the landlord that pushes people off roofs. <laughs> it wasn't me, okay? That was one of my hitmen. Um, so, another suggestion. What's that? If the yacht is big enough, you could have oh. someone live on there. Oh, Unfortunately, it won't be big enough. What do you mean, oh, your oh. god? I want to live on a yacht. Oh. <laughs> the hole is not very big is the problem. It's like... Um, I could also... I could also, like, build a cabin in the in the forest over where that ring was. Yeah, what what's a... Wait a minute. What do you mean was? I couldn't see it on the overview map. Really? I couldn't I either, actually. I, I looked at it the other day. I, but I think it's still here. It. Maybe it just, like, blends in. I don't know. I didn't see it though. I tried to look for or, it and I couldn't find it. I have no idea who built that, man. Yeah, no, I saw it the one day I was here. I'm like, I don't think Snow built that, but like no. I went over there <laughs> and it's super ugly. Some... Like, did you see? Yeah, I expected. I expected to find something under it, and it was just like, nope. It, it's just I've a floating. I've only seen it in the video. I was say I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, but how like it wasn't even built in a circular shape. <laughs> it was like an By oblong way, type ovally. Hey, yeah. melons. By the way, Snow, the one day that I was here and uh, the, the creeper blew up, Yeah. Um, the reason I was here was I was looking at the guest house and I was thinking about what furnishings I was going to do. <laughs> and then I came back later that I did not place the mushroom. You know they... I, I am I didn't, shocked. There I didn't, are more now. There are more than two now. Oh, are there really? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow, oh, it's gone. Is it really? So huh. I wonder if whoever it was saw your video. I feel bad. <laughs> I was pretty sure nobody, especially somebody who would just build a crappy little circle in the air, was not going to see my video. Look at my toothpick forest. It's so great. Is it? Is it actually gone? Are you sure you just haven't gone? No, because I, I was able to see it from way back there. I guess it is gone. Yeah. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> Mean person. I was. I wasn't being very nice when I told him to get it out of there.
Oh, but in general, you're just a mean person. No, I'm not. <laughs>